Asano is just a typical young guy. When he learns that his childhood buddy and her family are spies, his entire world is upended. After that, he is compelled to wed her in order to keep her older brother from killing him. The students greet Asano and invite him to participate in football practice at the start of the episode. He is invited to attend karate class with another pupil. Tomorrow after school, Asano apologizes and explains that he cannot since he does not want to disturb the pupils. They are frustrated, saying he has rejected them again, making it worse than a girl being foolish. They talk about how they spend an entire year in the same class to get to know one another better and remark on how ironic it is that his name means joy while having a very dark demeanor. Another student suggests that Asano may have lost consciousness from stress, having used all his strength to give them his initial response. They had hoped he would improve after all these months, finding it difficult for someone to be so shy. However, Asano thinks to himself that he's not shy but rather happy to claim these tasks. He wants to talk to them too, but remembers something from the past. Then, a girl named Yakura approaches him and asks if he rejected someone else again, calling him Asano. She gives him lunch, mentioning his part-time job and how he hasn't eaten much. She opens it for him to feed him. Meanwhile, Aso's friends watch from afar, expressing jealousy that a girl at school is talking to him. Yakura then expresses her concern for him, wondering how things will end up for him. She mentions a teacher, Tanaka, inviting him to join the football team. Asono is surprised and asks if she is his mother. This angers her, and she tells him to stop putting on a fake face, advising him to look forward and not disappoint their ancestors. She mentions rehabilitating his communication skills and starts feeding him, which he initially refuses. Suddenly, teacher Hirakawa appears and eats from her hand, which annoys her. She reminds him of his promise not to do it again, and he apologizes, saying his body reacts automatically to her beautiful food. Hakua is the school principal who became so at a very young age and is a skilled teacher. He comments on Yakura's beautiful white hair and expresses a desire to touch her cheeks, which makes her uncomfortable. She threatens to report him if he does. He then tells Asono that if he has nothing to do, he should go to the teacher's office. Asono remembers the teacher's request and acknowledges that he has work to do. So, Hirakawa instructs him to come to his office after school, leaving Asono surprised and questioning if he has done something. However, the teacher doesn't respond and leaves afterwards. Aso's friends come and greet him, saying they'll see him later. He responds to them, but there's a deep sadness in his eyes as he thinks to himself that he has been like this since that day. He recalls the time when he and his family were riding in the car, playing with his sister inside while it was raining. Suddenly, the car flipped over and crashed. He won't know the value of something important until you lose it, and important things can vanish in an instant when they disappear. Here, you'll become very scared, even if it means losing important people in your life. He cries heavily while his girlfriend holds his hand, reassuring him that she'll never leave him alone. Back to reality, Asono has gone to see the teacher who tells him he just wanted to show him his secret group, the Momi secret group. Asono thinks the teacher is corrupt and wicked, feeling he should report him somehow. But when he sees the photos, there's a line connecting them. One picture was taken while they were playing, and the other when they were at the park when she was five years old. How can a mere teacher possess these photos? Then Yakura, the teacher, speaks mentioning that as long as she protected Momi from the shadows, since she's attractive, she had to get rid of those annoying pests. She always took care of her, even yesterday when the older student insisted on approaching her, she politely asked him not to. But he tormented him and asked him forcefully not to approach her. The teacher continues threatening Asono, saying he only left him alone because he was her childhood friend. But he now has information he can't keep quiet about. Asano finds himself unable to move, in terror, both his feet frozen. Usomi is in danger, but he can't save her as the teacher speaks. Suddenly, this girl appears, creating a bright light in the room to take Asano and escape with him. Then, we see Asano waking up with his girlfriend, Matomi, beside him, saying good morning and expressing relief that he's okay. When he looks around, he's surprised to see these people around her, so he runs away from them and asks her who they are. She tells him it's a long story she'll tell him later, but first she introduces everyone. She tells him that these are her siblings. He's shocked, and she explains that this is her sister Shan, and this is Kingo, and her older brother Shinzu, and this is now and the little dog is our guard, Giletta. As you can see, we are a family of spies, she says. It was very hard to keep this secret from you for over 10 years. Asano is even more shocked and says, Spies? What are you talking about? You can't tell me about this. She replies, 
we just deal with weapons and information instead of eggplants and radishes. They're pretty much the same thing, aren't they? But he looks fearful and says, they're completely different, absolutely insane. How could they be the same thing? Then he thinks he understands, thinking it's a prank. He picks up a gun and says, this is a gun, it must be a toy, and fires it, but it burns a part of his head. She says, all right, accept it. This is the truth. Then her younger brother interjects, saying, contrary to movies, this is a normal job. Even this magazine, Atesh, that many suspicious individuals have shifted to this field, and there are many cheap amateur spies. That's why we didn't make much money. Our rating is 4.8 out of 5, and we're ranked first, according to the reviews. There are even reviews for spies. Her sister adds that her older brother ranked first on the male spy list and is the most hated. When Asano sees a picture of her older brother, he's shocked because it's Hakua, the teacher at school. Her sister explains that he's the eldest son of the family, and besides his personality, he's a skilled spy in their family. He possesses everything like physical strength, battles, and knowledge. Despite being a genius, he's bound to make mistakes from time to time, which has left Matsumi injured since a long time ago. She got the white strand of hair due to the nervous stress from that incident. Since then, all of Aso's attention has been on her, changing his name and job several times. They can't monitor her. He started interfering in her interactions with others, becoming a monster while trying to protect her, making things worse. There's information written about people you were removed from that list because of your childhood friendship. However, he intends to kill you because you're now a legitimate suspect. We apologize on behalf of our foolish brother. Suddenly, the bell rings, and they ask what it is. They say the devil has just entered, referring to her older brother Hirakawa. She tells him that he's probably here to stab you in the heart. They say it's actually safer for you to stay with us. Her sister says, I've lost all the rooms in this place. This will give us some time. The other one says, I've scattered some traps and explosives. Then Fuyaba speaks up, saying, to stop someone you can't reason with, you have to use force. We'll show our resistance here and smash him into pieces. She says, his win rate was 5 to 1. There's an 82% chance that one of us will need about half a year to recover, and there's a 25% chance that this house will explode, but that's okay. We'll do some cleaning up afterward. After hearing all this, Asano becomes very confused and afraid. He says, is all this my fault? Isn't there another way? She reassures him, saying, it's our problem, not yours. Don't worry about it. Then she adds, I think there's another way for you to stay alive. He asks, what's this other way? She replies, you and Matomi should marry. But from the Akura family, there's a rule that prohibits killing anyone from the family. Your life will be safe. But her brother says, that idiot isn't dumb enough to break such a strong rule. Although the usual procedure involves going to a government office for official papers and making promises in a church, the Akura family's procedures only require a ring ceremony. Each member of the Akura family wears a Sakura ring, and this ring is divided into halves. When the other half is given to the partner, the marriage is considered valid. You'll become a member of the Akura family. Then she continues, I'm not trying to downplay the importance of this. I know you are childhood friends. If there's a legitimate partner, that idiot might return to his senses and leave his sister's problems. But these are all my hopes for your protection and for protecting my little sister. Don't you think this is a suitable choice? In his mind, he wonders about Matsumi's feelings and remembers his family and the accident. But Matomi interrupts their conversation and says she won't marry Asano. She apologizes to her sister and says, I'm sorry. I know you're thinking about me, but you must understand that Asano lost his family in the past. He's been struggling with that pain more than most people. Until now, he can't talk to people, and I can't sleep because of that pain. How can we ask someone who has experienced the pain of losing family to join our family so simply? This is what I can do. Fotoba apologizes and says, that's all I can do. Thus, they reiterate their plan to crush their brother, and Somi says to Asano, I'm sorry for involving you in our problems. Then we find the sisters discussing how their plan should be and they're surprised when they see him sitting among them, asking who they're planning to crush. Everyone is shocked at how quickly he transitioned into their plan. He tells them, I can't believe you didn't include me. You have to make your brother a part of this. Shizo asks, didn't you replace the wallpaper to set up the traps in the house? Fotoba explains that it was too bothersome to avoid them, so she broke all of them. Then the eldest sister warns him, saying, I'll warn you once, stay away from these two. He replies, I don't think so. There's no guarantee he won't hurt her. 
it's my duty to punish those who pose a threat to her. Then she grabs him and throws him to the ground. Then their other brother N uses his strength and delivers a powerful blow with his superhuman hand, but it seemed to have no effect on him. He begins to counterattack and defeats them all because of his steel threads. He tells them, since I'm busy, let's play later. Let's stop this training. Hand over this guy to me. I'll cut this whole house up just like I did with this glass. Then her sister speaks up and says that his special weapon is the iron spider threads. She tells them that while he evades their attacks by running away. She starts attacking him, but we find that he stopped her attack and started restraining her against the wall. Then he tells her not to move too much for Toba or her body will be cut into pieces. If she does, it will be bad for her because she's using Jiu-Jutsu. Then her sister Shai says that the chances will rise to 70 in this situation, so they should go, and she'll deal with him. He tells her that her level is not suitable for him, and she replies that even if her level is not competitive with his, she will eliminate him. The player must enjoy the fight with all he has. Then she starts deploying all her small private aircraft and orders them to attack him, but it seems futile. After that, Asano and his companion arrive at the scene. She tells him to hide in this closet so he won't be found. She assures him that she won't go anywhere. Instead, she will protect him. Then she closes the closet on him. Afterward, we find her brother after he has destroyed the small warplanes, and he's heading toward them. He says, okay, come here, Somi. I don't want to dirty you with his blood. We find a son behind her, then Matomi starts attacking him, but he dodges her attacks. Then he removes her mask revealing that he's Kingo, her brother. He says to her, what a wonderful disguise, but you need to make your disguises last longer. Then you'll see the other disguised person behind. Then he gestures to Asano and says, hello, Matomi. He asks her, where did you hide Asano? Then we see her removing her mask and telling him to stop, please. He says he'll stop. She's lost. Instead, he'll prevent her from leaving the house because the strange bugs are attached to her, which means her brother has lost and failed. From now on, he'll protect her more and more. The outside world is dangerous, so she won't leave. She won't need a smartphone because the internet is dangerous, and anything else that causes harm will be removed. School, friends, games, love, everything is unnecessary. We'll get rid of them so we can live in a safe and peaceful family. When I think about it, my soul is refreshed. Then he continues, that day in the past when I almost lost you will never happen again. I promised myself that I won't accept anyone. But suddenly Asano opens the closet and appears before him, telling him to keep his hands off Momi. However, he says that these are family matters, and he shouldn't interfere. Asano tells him that this man resembles him a lot, and he's afraid of losing someone close to him. Then he tells him Somi, let me protect you in the way your sister told us. He reminds her that she promised she wouldn't disappear. She agrees then removes half of the ring from her hand and throws it to him. Ever at the last moment, he can't catch it because her brother has activated its feature, the spider threads, which prevent him from grabbing it. Her brother says that it was imminent and Fotoba always shares a lot of information just in case something happens. However, Asano begins to grasp the ring despite his bleeding hand, thanking Matomi for protecting him. He admits that he used to be a useless young man, and from now on, he'll protect her. He takes the ring, cuts the threads with his hand, puts on the ring, and promises always to protect her. It's an honor for him to be here. Then their sisters appear, but they find that Asano has put on the ring. She goes to him, hugs him, and thus they are married. He has protected her from her older brother, and now he can't kill him because he's her brother-in-law now. Then Fotoba goes to the eldest brother, Cairo, and tells him that now is not the time to look disappointed. He should congratulate the young couple. Everyone congratulates them, saying it was wonderful. Then Fotoba tells her brother that he should teach him how to protect Momi. And thus, the first episode of this anime ends.